So, I know y'all probably sick of looking at this towel right now and thinking every video I'm going to have it on, but no, it's the same day. It's wash day. Y'all just getting a series of videos, and I hope you're watching this video from wash day, condition, and right now, this video, blow dry, okay? Anyways, what's up, y'all? This is your girl, Gold Mouth. So now, my hair has been up in this towel for about an hour or an hour and a half. Give or take, I want to have whatever, however long it took me to cook, okay? And my house still not dry. As you can see, it's still not dry. But, girlfriend, my hair is super soft. Like, ooh, that deep conditioner. That, well, what it is? That mayonnaise. Oh, we put in there did real good, okay? I'm going to try to put these videos right here in a series. So that way y'all can um, watch them in order. Wash day, uh, deep condition, and then the blow dry. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm managing my hair right now in two sections because it's all washed and it's good and detangled. I don't really have to finger detangle it for real because my comb is able to glide through it so much better since um, i done with the conditioner part. But let me see just in case I need to... Yeah, my fingers kind of glide through a little bit. And so now it's time for me to use the Revair. And I am going to use... Hold on, let me get my... Um, I need to get my leave-in conditioner and I need to get my Silk Elements heat protectant. Alright? Alright. I'm back. So I had to get my Silk Elements leave-in... Uh, not leave-in... This is the heat protector, Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Heat Protection Spray. Okay, I've been using this for umpteen years and I love it. This is my favorite. I done tried all them other ones like they be saying, Tresemme and Chi. And I like this one the best, okay? And this is a leave-in conditioner, argan oil. Yeah, but cream of nature, argan oil, leave-in, strength and shine leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I am going to separate my hair yet again in four sections. Y'all see it's real soft. I done finger detangled it. And I am able to get the comb through it real good. So I'm gonna just <sighs> I'm still tender headed no matter what. I guess God just gave me a tender head. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna section it. I'm going to put it in, I don't know, maybe I'm going to try to do more than four sections this time. Because last time four section was a little bit hassle when I used um, my Rev Air. So, hold that thought. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time that I didn't do before is I'm going to spray my whole head. That way, I don't forget to, like, not spray a section. Because sometimes I be going and going and I be done forgot to spray a section. So, this is leave-in conditioner. Make sure I get those ends, okay? Alright. That's good enough because I don't want it to be like wet, wet. Mm. Oh, let me turn around. Let me turn around. My house still in sections, y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Nobody knows the struggle I feel in my head when I comb. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like from the back. Woo! But, this is what my hair looks like. With it, with it. My hair always grow long on that side, and I done cut it even 50 limb times, and it just ain't gonna do right, okay? So, I'm not finna let it rear me, okay? That's one thing I'm not to do um so i said i was gonna section my hair off before i turned that thing off the last time but i'm gonna do that this time one section boom 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 two section we're gonna do three sections because i ain't got but six clips three sections six clips Uh, 
plus 2 and the thing about doing my hair man hair be getting all over me oh my god hair just everywhere like all day long can't put my chapstick on, cause well I can put my chapstick on, but then I have hair, loose hair, stick it to my lips and all kinds of stuff, child. Anyhow, put this side in three sections, that side in three sections, and then we got our three sections, six sections, okay? Okay. So now the key is before you let me drop my chair down a little bit. Um before you dry your hair before you rev your hair you gotta make sure each section is fully and thoroughly detangled i did not put the heat protected on my hair gosh i forgot i wish i was live so y'all could remind me to put the heat protected on my hair before each spray so hopefully i don't forget because that's like a real good important part for me mm -mm -mm. Make sure these ends, folks, for show, show. Because this real valve, I don't know. I be, I'm kind of, oh, I was kind of a little scared the last time, but it did good. It did good. So, I'm going to just take that section and put it in two sections. Okay? That's all. I hope that section's small enough. So, I'm going to just fold this one here in half and in half again or whatever, ball it up, put it in. Put it up, put it away. So last time when I used this rev air, that looked funny about my face. Don't 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 do me like that. <laughs> um the last time when I used this rev air, uh I didn't let y'all hear the noise the whole time, but we're gonna hear this noise this time, okay? So on your mark you see it go. Make sure my hair comes through. Okay, y'all, so that wasn't a good idea to leave the sound on of the blow dryer the entire time because it was like a little bit too loud for my camera microphone and I didn't want to drown y'all out. So, anyways, um, I am blow drying the first section of my hair right now. I wouldn't say blow drying. I guess I could we call this the reverse. I don't know what you call it. You don't call it blow drying no more. I guess you call it suctioning since this is a real hair. And as you guys can see, that came out really, really nice. And look how long my hair has gotten, y'all. Um, just from, you know, healthy hair care practices and constantly wearing my bonnets at night, okay? And day and whenever I'm lounging around, okay? Um, so I'm going to go to the next section. I'm just talking away because I thought this was going to be out loud. But, hey, voice over time. So doing the second section. And I think that... I really, really like this Rev Air, and this feels just like a vacuum cleaner to me. I mean, not feel like, it sounds like just like a vacuum cleaner to me. And it feels kind of like a vacuum too, but it is not a vacuum, okay? I repeat, it is not a vacuum, sis. So don't go thinking that you can go get your vacuum cleaner and get the hose and suction your hair, because you cannot, because this is not the same, okay? Um, if that was the case, uh, that would have been, you know, people would have been doing it. But anyways, I'm just going to twist off these sections of my hair as I um, dry them off. And as you can see, I'm pulling out smaller sections at a time because the larger the section you do, the longer it'll take for it to dry. So this, with, this, with a little bit smaller section, you don't have to wait as long. And in the video, I was kind of, I probably was going a little bit over my time because this is just my second time using it. So I'm not 100% sure of, you know, how long it takes to dry my hair. I think it says like 60 to 90 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds or something in that, you know, in that area. But I'm still practicing, y'all. This is just my second time using it on me. I really, really like it. Um, 
so far. Um, I'll be checking my ends, and I think in the long run, this is going to be really, really good for my ends. You know, the good thing is I don't have to worry about um, pulling my hair out with my blow dryer brush anymore. And I'm trying to show you guys in the video um, the way I like holding it is how I got it in my hands right now at this point. And also, it gets a little heavy. So, like, the way I'm holding my head down right now, my elbow is rested on the armrest of my chair. And that helps to take, like, the, the stress off of my arm just being held up in the air. And look how my hair comes out when I pull it out. The front of my hair is shorter than the back of my hair. And... Okay, so my hat is completely done. I'm just going to twist it up and go to bed, y'all, because that is 840. If I would have did all these videos in one day, it would have been a 12-hour video. Like, for real. I've been doing my hair since like 930, and it's 840. So I'm just going to twist my hair up. And in my next video, you will see like my hair down. I'll be taking my hair down um, out of these twists. I'm going to just twist my hair up. Now, half of them ain't going to be twisted no more anyway because, you know, I ain't got nothing to clip the ends with. These going these to come loose because y'all know my hair relaxed, so it's straight. And it looks so low and thin, but y'all already know how, how my hair do. Um... That is what it looking like. Okay, so that first one I'm gonna act right. Oh, 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 oh. my hair growing, y'all. Slowly but surely, surely but slowly, it's growing. So, anyways, I'm gonna just leave it like that, like for real. So that is it for you for today. Is make sure it's dry at the root. It is 100% dry. Yep, it's 100% dry. Dig it down. Yep, my hair is fully dry. And that's what it looks like. Twisted up, fully dry. And that is it, y'all. Thank y'all so, so, so much. Um, On a scale of 1 to 10, I would rate this a 8.5. Because the only, the only one and a half mark is that I took off is because of its, um, the weight on my arms. Okay. Like holding it up for, for, for 90 seconds is like, for me, for somebody that's not that strong, try to get back strong. And then that is about it. Thank y'all so, so, so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. I love my hair. Bye.